Hi, in this video I'll show you how to program analog stick movement for gamepads and controllers encoded. Before we jump into the code, we need to map our input. So project, project settings, input map. And let's add actions for our left analog stick. Now, let's start to code. First, we need a input vector for our input. get the input to that vector. First the x-axis. Now we need something to move our character. Because we are in physics, kinematic body, let's use physics process. Now, this works just fine, but it will give a squarish feeling for our input. And let me explain, why is that? In controllers, there's something called a dead zone. That is the zone where we move the stick, but the character won't actually move. Let me make you a simple drawing. Here, we have our current dead zone, a square. Now, when we move, our stick across any of these lines, the character will start moving. But because it's a square, it will give a squarish feeling to our movement. To solve this, we'll add a circle around this, a circle dead zone. But to make it even more nice, feeling will make the circle a little bit bigger than our given dead zone of square. But first, let's make the square dead zone much smaller to get a nicer feeling. And I'll start with a variable.
now we'll edit the dead zone. This has to be done for every action. Next, let's add a circular dead zone around the square dead zone. I'll make a variable for that. To make the dead zone we need a little bit math. Then let's make a variable for our new movement vector. And if we don't get any input, that is over our circle dead zone. We set the move there to zero. And finally, let's add a speed variable to make our character a little bit faster. And I also noticed a small mistake here, so I'll fix it. Now it's all done, so let's run it. Yay, it works! And feels good. Okay, thanks for watching. Check the description for GitHub link. And happy game making.